Hello everyone. We are still talking about artists who served in the military and uh, today I'm featuring Solomon Sal Lewitt. He is a brilliant artist who really uh, pioneered minimalism and conceptual art in the 1960s and 70s and he was also drafted during the Korean War. So I want to talk about his work and um, what influenced his concepts, his ideas. His quote is, you shouldn't be a prisoner of your own ideas. And to LeWitt, ideas and the concept was everything. It, it inspired his work and eventually inspired the whole conceptual art movement. So let's talk a little bit more about that and what that means. So before we dive into conceptual art, let's talk about LeWitt. His, uh, he was born to, as the only child uh, to uh, Russian Jewish immigrants. Un um, unfortunately, his father passed uh, when he was six years old. So his mother raised him and his mother really in, uh, in Connecticut. And she really encouraged his art. Uh, he received his bachelor's in fine arts from Syracuse University in 1949. Uh, he won a scholarship through his work to travel to Europe. And there he was inspired and exposed by old, the old master paintings. Shortly thereafter, he was drafted into the U.S. Army during the Korean War, War in 1951. He served in the special services and created posters, among other duties. He visited many shrines and temples in both Korea and Japan, and after he was discharged, he set up uh, an art studio in New York City. He worked as a graphic designer for an architect and as a night receptionist at the Museum of Modern Art. This too continued to inspire his work. In the 1960s, he embraced the idea that was very radical at the time, that the concept behind a work of art was as important as its physical form. Using only pencil drawn lines, he would create these ideas for arrangements for his work to be executed following written instructions. This, the idea was paramount. He has said again, the idea becomes the machine that makes the art. So in conceptual art, the idea is what is most important. Uh, throughout his career, he had uh, 3D works uh, ranging from wall drawings, over 1,200. Um, he created hundreds of works of art on paper that then became structures and forms into towers and pyramids, uh, all sorts of things. So he was a very prolific artist. You can see a couple of his works as I've been talking on the screen, but today I want you to honor and uh, study Sal Lewitt. Enjoy your day and we will continue on with more artists tomorrow.